Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys today how to dual PC stream, so you get one game computer for gaming, one PC for streaming, and how to do it with a capture card, and maintain your 240 or 144 hertz frames per second, whatever, um, without cloning it through the NVIDIA control panel or whatever AMD uses, um, and obviously with that NDI, because NDI you wouldn't even need a capture card. Um, the only things you're going to need... Other than your capture card, of course, you're going to need an aux cord. Um, and if you use a U if you don't use a USB headset, you're going to need like a 3.5 millimeter splitter. All right. Um, and that's the only quote unquote hardware you're going to need. Now, some of you may be wondering, why don't you just use NDI or clone it through the NVIDIA control panel? Well, NDI, I can't get it to work. Some people don't have the internet speed. You've got 25 megabytes per second. Uh, upload uh, 100 download you can game and stream fine, but you can't do NDI really um, and some people like myself Our FPS gets capped at 60 in our games even when we clone it some people it doesn't Some people it does don't really know why I, I just know I've seen other people with the same issue So I figured I'd make this video All right, so uh, before I show you guys the hardware setup the very minimal hardware setup I don't want any judgment for like how nasty or not nasty, but like cluttered my desk is, alright? And the, st the desk next to my desk, it's pretty bad, alright? But uh, pretty much all you do on this part, you know, you take your HDMI from your capture card, put it in, or from your graphics card, put it in the front of your capture card, and then take the dual sided aux cord, put it through your headphone jack, pretty simple, alright? Put it in there, and you're done on your hardware setup, alright? All right, so you're gonna need to download OBS on your uh, game PC, and of course on your stream PC, unless you use XSplit on your stream PC. Either way, you're gonna need something on both OBS. Um, then you go into your NVIDIA control panel here, and you're gonna set up multiple displays. So, you know, my main display, my Alienware, uh, 240 hertz. And then the second display is the Razer Ripsaw. And, uh, of course, that's my capture card. If you have an Elgato, it's going to be Elgato. If you have Aver Media, it's going to be Aver Media. Whatever. The second monitor should just be labeled as the capture card. Come here. Just make sure that your 240 or 144 is the main display. And then over here, it should, you know, in the little bitty box, it should be the second one. All right. Then what you're going to do, you're going to come over here. You know, want to right click sound like the sound bar down here and then go to the sound settings advanced sound options okay and what you want to do here is you're going to want to output obs to your speakers okay which is where it's going to go through that aux cord you plugged in um you can actually right click it or yeah or left click it my bad um and you can select your capture card and it works sometimes but i've had a lot of issues with it's like half the time it works half the time it doesn't I spend like 20 minutes on stream trying to fix it, it it's just not worth the headache use the aux cord all right speakers of course um, okay. then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to open OBS up here all right and uh, you're gonna want to go to your desktop audio or whatever your audio input is so you know if you come down here to your audio my head, my uh, Arctis 7 headset is the N on it. Desktop audio is the chat. I just use that for music. We're not getting into that. The first one is um, obviously headphones here. And then what you're going to want to do is come over here, click the cog, go to advanced audio properties, and you want to put monitor only mute output. Do not put monitor and output. Only put monitor only. Okay. And if you need, uh, I'm just going to throw this in here. If you need uh, it to be louder on your stream PC, then you're just going to uh, go to filters and add a gain. So I listen to music uh, very quietly while I game, but I want my stream to hear it a little bit. So I put a gain on it. Pretty simple. The farther you go with it, the louder it is. The softer you go with it, the quieter it is. Or the lower you go with it. My bad. And after you do that, the only thing you have to do 
Disable the preview. Disable in the preview saves you uh, a little bit of CPU power. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna right click it, full screen projector, and go to display two, which display two is the capture card. There's no output on the capture card or anything. Obviously it doesn't need to go to a monitor on its own. It just has to have an in. Uh, but you're gonna hit display two and it should pop it right up on. All right, and since I'm recording using it, let me go ahead and exit out of it. Again, right clicking it, display two, boom, it pops up. If I turn off display capture here, using only game capture, uh, right now it's at 0.5%. When I'm actually gaming, it's like 0.7% or something like that. So it uses this point the tiniest little bit. I have an i7-8700 in my computer, so it's like a good like high side of a mid-range, you know? But anyway, that's all you have to do. It'll send it over. Um, you just, on your stream PC, you just add it. Video capture card, choose your capture card. Boom, you're done. That's all you got to do. I appreciate everybody who took the time out of the day to come watch this video, learn something new, get out there and stream, have a good time, grow your audience. And most importantly, though, you don't lose your FPS. So.